Welcome to Dermatology Explained. Today we'll be talking about keratosis lichenoides chronica, also known as Neckham's disease. Keratosis lichenoides chronica is characterized by bilacious keratotic lichenoid papules that are arranged in a characteristic linear and reticulated pattern. The lesions are usually symmetrically distributed on the limbs and trunks. Keratosis lichenoides chronica is rare, with only about 70 cases reported in the medical literature as of 2019. It can occur in people of any race, age, or sex. The majority of cases have been reported in adults aged 20 to 40 years. The male to female ratio is about 1.7. Most reported cases have been in Caucasians. The cause of keratosis lichenoides chronica is not well understood. It was initially thought to be a rare variant of lichen planus, but many now consider it to be a distinctive condition. What are some theories to explain the underlying causes? In some familial cases of keratosis lichenoides chronica, it is due to a germline mutation in NLRP1, which is an inflammasome sensor gene that activates inflammatory cytokines. This gain of function mutation leads to a localized release of interleukin-1 and secretion of tumor necrosis factor alpha or TNF-alpha, as well as keratinocyte growth factors, which result in epidermal hyperplasia and keratosis, which may explain the clinical presentation of keratosis lichenoides chronica. In terms of the clinical features of this condition, it presents with multiple discrete, erythematous, violaceous, or brown-purple scaly lichenoid papules, which form linear or reticulated patterns. It is often symmetrically distributed, a facial eruption resembling seborrheic dermatitis or rosacea may also be present, which has a greasy appearance and feel. The nasolabial folds are almost always spared. The papules have central erosions. They are symmetrically distributed on the limbs, buttocks, and trunk. Keratotic papules on the palms and soles, along with the mucosal, nail, scalp, and genital involvement, are rare findings. What are some other features of keratosis lichenoides chronica? This condition can be associated with palmoplantar keratoderma, mucosal involvement with oral and genital ulceration, nail involvement with dystrophy, discoloration, and longitudinal ridging, ocular involvement with blepharitis, conjunctivitis, uveitis, or non-scarring alopecia of the eyebrows and scalp. This commonly affects children. The histological features of keratosis lichenoides chronica are very similar to those seen in lichen planus. Furthermore, there are no significant differences in immunofluorescence or immunopathologic findings between keratosis lichenoides chronica and lichen planus, which suggests that it may be an unusual variant of lichen planus or an unusual isomorphic response. The features on histology include hyperkeratosis, follicular parakeratosis, and alternating areas of acanthosis and atrophy, there is a lichenoid reaction pattern, as well as a mixed inflammatory infiltrate comprising of lymphocytes, plasma cells, histiocytes, and occasionally eosinophils. The management of keratosis lichenoides chronica can be challenging. It is often very resistant to available therapies. Treatments that can be trialed includes corticosteroids, narrowband UVB phototherapy, retinoids, methotrexate, and cyclosporine. In many cases, remission is never achieved. The differential diagnoses of keratosis lichenoides chronica includes lichen planus, lichenoid drug eruptions, lichenoid graft versus host disease, lichen plantar pilaris, inflammatory linear verrucous epidermal nevus, seborrheic dermatitis, malar rash of systemic lupus erythematosus, as well as discoid lupus erythematosus. Thank you for joining us today on this video presentation. We hope to see you at the next one.